At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. You'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Three-year-old Huck Frazier returned last week after undergoing a potentially life-saving surgery for a congenital heart defect. Thursday, we spoke with mother, Lindsay Frazier, about Huck's journey and progress following the surgery. Huck is doing great. It is so exciting to see um, him begin to thrive already in just a short amount of time. You know, we knew that he needed this surgery, but we didn't realize how important it would be or how much the um, his heart condition was affecting his body. You know, now, even just three weeks almost after his surgery, he's smiling more. He's trying to talk Here, to us more. He's playing. He's trying to play with Great his little job, brother. Huck. And those are all things that he didn't feel like doing before. You know, anytime we get a head cold or, um, you know, our nose gets stopped up, we know how we feel and you just feel miserable. And his oxygen was that low all the time. And so to know that um, he's feeling better and to see now, even though we hate to see him have to go through something so invasive, it's making it worth it, and I cannot wait to see where we go from here. Since Huck's return, Frazier says they've noticed physical progress, such as changes in his activity and blood circulation. You know, before we were so used to just seeing Huck with his um, bluish tone to his skin, so his lips would be a dusky purpley blue color. His fingernails were purpley blue. His toes and his feet stayed pretty blue, but now he has pink flushed skin and pretty pink lips and, and pink fingernails just like we do. And it's so exciting to see what this new normal looks like for him because that's something that we've never seen before. You know, we take small things like that for granted with our children, um, but it's definitely exciting to see. And then he's able to, um, he's already uh, been outside and trying to play a little bit. And he's able, you know, prior to his surgery, he could only walk maybe 50 feet before he wanted someone to carry him to go see Nana and Papa out behind our house. But um, in the past couple of days when the weather's been nice, he's been out walking up small hills in our driveway. So that's definitely something that we're excited about and something he loves to do and he finally can do that. So we'll Lastly, as Huck continues to improve, Fraser hopes other families see his progress and are inspired as they are not alone. I would just say to others that you're not alone. You know, congenital heart defects again affect about one in 100 children. So it's more prevalent around than what we realize. You know, my, my younger child was born with a heart defect, but his was one that was able to heal on its own and thankfully didn't require um, any medical treatments. But to other families, I would just say, don't give up. You know, they're fighters and they're, we call them heart warriors for a reason. You know, he's got plenty of battle scars and we certainly um, can see the fight in him and can't wait to see what's in his future because we know he was he doesn't give up easily. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.